Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about Instagram. Now, Instagram has over a billion monthly active users from all over the world, and at least half are logging into the app almost every single day. Even better, these users are engaged and are excited to interact with your brand or even sometimes purchase from your brand. Now, your bio is the small section on your profile page that lets you tell the world what you're all about. And it's the first thing that people will see when visiting your profile on both desktop and mobile. Now, character count limitations or not, there are a few core things that your bio needs to do. One, it needs to clearly define your value proposition. Your value proposition proposition rather is all about how your business products or services are unique and how that can benefit the person reading the bio. You're explaining why people should care about your business, your service, your product, your local business, and why they should follow you or even purchase from you. This is the most important part of the bio. You also want to highlight your brand voice. So if you have a distinctive brand voice, that is a great place to introduce to new users. The bio needs to align with your brand as a whole, or there will be a clear disconnect. You also want to include a clear call to action. Your bio is short, but it's effective. It'll actually still encourage users to take action, like, you know, um, sharing some images, uh, you know, you want them to register to a webinar, watch a video, even take them to a landing page where they can purchase something for you. You want to send them to a page that is that has a call to action. Now, let's talk about the main profile photo. Now, if you're a brand yourself or you're a, you know, a go-to celebrity or a known person within your community, consider picking a photo with your face on it because photos will get 38% more likes in general on Instagram. So your profile photo might have a good impact on the audience as well. But it's not only about that. Now, people like it when a business has a face as it looks more personal, friendly, and open that way. Now, when picking your photo, remember that it shouldn't be too detailed. Otherwise, it might look too unclear. It shouldn't look too formal as well as, you know, Instagram is all about connecting with the audience and not distracting from them. Just use a photo where people can see your face. You can interact uh, with people and can can actually see that you are the face of that business. Now, I'm going to what I'm going to do now is I'm going to share some examples with you. Now, should a bio be long or short? Should it include emojis or not? It'll all depend on your business, on its image and its vision, of course. Therefore, spend some time putting that vision into words if you haven't already. This is part of your branding, which is so crucially important in building your business. If you're an entrepreneur, a local business, or even a coach or a consultant, it should also align with your overall social media strategy. Now, how do you nor normally compose tweets or Facebook posts? What tone do you actually use? So come up with words you want to be associated with your brand, with, with the emotions you want it to evoke. Your brand needs to have its own unique voice after all. What I also like to say is consider using emojis and including them in your bio. Did you know that 50% of the Instagram comments and captions contain emojis? People seem to like that a lot. So why not make that most out of it and include it in your bio? Now, the emojis are often used to make your brand look more emotional and more friendly. So just think about it that way. You can use a ghost emoji before your Snapchat handle. Um, you can use a location pin and use it in front of your physical location or address. And I'm going to include some here or here. Um, you can use an envelope, use it in front of your email address. Uh, you can use a downward pointing finger, use it in the, in the last line of your bio to point to your clickable call to action URL. You can use flags, which can be gr a great way to include your home base or to highlight your local brand accounts in different languages or countries. You also want to include hashtags. Now, adding hashtags to your Instagram bio is a great way to, to link to tagged content. 
You can include a branded hashtag to promote and collect user-generated content. For example, Destination BC, uh, BC is British Columbia where I live, uses hashtag Explorer BC to collect stunning user-generated photos from around the province. You could also include a themed hashtag that highlights a current promotion or contest. You just do a little bit of research and obviously include that. Keep in mind that Instagram bio hashtags are clickable, but they do not appear in hashtag search results. Don't include hashtags that are not directly related to your business. I see that a lot because each one represents an opportunity for potential followers to click away. Use spacing and line breaks because people don't tend to read information online. Instead, they scan for bite-sized chunks of information. Now make that information easy to identify using line breaks. I see a lot of Instagram accounts that use emojis as bullet points to show off key points about their business, their company that wouldn't quite make sense written in, in you know paragraph form. With these Instagram bio ideas in hand, you're ready to create a bio that showcases the best of your brand and compels visitors to like, follow, and even buy your products or even connect you in, in, in all 150 cal characters or less. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed this short video that I made about how to make a compelling bio for your Instagram account. Business, of course, Instagram account, not your personal. And I shall speak to you again in another video. Peace.